This is a good time to talk about the five question pricing model, I think, because it speaks exactly to the framing that you talked about in terms of how do you change that. So when I'm when I'm thinking about pricing a, a, a package, a program, anything like that, my first question is, what does the client want? Now, here's the to me, here's the ultimate frame buster for what you just said. The client's not paying for you. They're paying for the result that they want. And either the result that they want is worth the price that you're charging or it isn't. And if it isn't, they shouldn't work with you. And if it is, they should bite your hand off and, <laughs> and go for it. Like a, it's, a, it's a very simple thing. You know, if, if, if I'm really hungry and want a pizza, if someone says, okay, I've got a pizza, it'll be $10,000. I'm like, no, thanks. <laughs> it's, it's not worth it. So anyway, the first thing is, what do they want? And I don't just mean, oh, they want a new car. I mean, what do they want? Like, what what's the problem it's solving in their life? Why do they want it? What's that going to do for them? What'll happen if they don't get it? Like that whole piece of what's the transformation that the client wants? And often when people first come to see, this is by definition, when someone first sets out to solve a problem, they don't know enough about what's going on for them to make a good decision about who to hire. They just don't like they because they if if they knew that they could just solve it by going online. Right. Like the, when someone first sets out to solve a problem or get a result or make a change or whatever it might be, they don't know enough about the problem space. So they need your help to get clear on that. So you want question number one is what does the client want? Question number two, is that something I can help them with? If it's not something I can help them with, I don't want to be having a sales conversation with them because like, I want to be referring them to someone who can help them. So number one, what do they want? Number two, is that something I can help them with? Number three, what's it going to take for me to help them with that? Is it going to take you know, this program, program or this product, or is it going to take a week together in a tropical location? What's it going to take? So, so a lot of times when I'm working with someone, I start, if I'm doing a, a coaching engagement, I'll start with a three day intensive where we go away to the countryside and spend three days in a different location. Cause I found that that just makes a huge difference in our work together. It just gets people kind of like a year's worth of results in a very short period of time. But, but that's going to be part of the what's it going to take to get them that, that result. So question number one, what do they want? Question number two, uh, is that something I can help them with? Question number three, what's it going to take to help them with that? Question number four, do I want to do that? Like I, funnily enough, I, I had a, a prospective client and he's like, yeah, here's what I want. And we we're talking about doing a year together. He's like, but here's the thing for all the coaching, you're going to need to fly out to where I am. And it was like halfway around the world. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not up for that. I've got, you know, my loved ones here and that sort of thing. I don't want to be flying halfway around the world seven times a year or whatever. So, so question number four, am I up for that? Question number five, how much would I have to charge to be delighted to do this? Okay. And here's why the thing I often see, Jason, is that people are trying to answer question number five before they've answered question number one. They're trying to figure out the price before they know what the client even wants, before they know what the client's even paying for. So, and the reason I, I say, how much would I have to charge to be delighted to do this? I want a Goldilocks price. I don't want it to be too much, but I don't want it to be too little. If it's too little, there's a danger that I might start resenting the client. Like, ah, geez, they want, they want the moon on a stick for just, you know, 10,000 bucks or whatever. If I've charged too much, then I, I might be insecure about, um, oh God, am I ripping them off or like, so I want it to be just right. And obviously that's something that can grow as you go along. But again, this is about authentic selling. This is about being real with your clients and real with yourself. You, you don't like everyone I know who's starting their own business, doing stuff they're passionate about, that sort of thing. You don't want to be a huckster or a, someone who's putting one over on people or anything like that. You want to be real with people. So it's about doing it in a way that allows you to be yourself and to have real, authentic, connected conversations with people and serve the hell out of them.